I'm barely hanging on. Let's get some obsidians. Look at the size of that one. That's every bit of a four, five carat. There it goes. All right, another garnet. Looks to be a little bigger, maybe. Almost a 30 point. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm at Ruby Mountain. That's it, right there behind me. But right now we're at their campsite. I am getting settled in at my campsite right here along the river. The Arkansas River. If you want to camp here, you'll have to call this number, make your reservations, get set up, daily vehicle pass to park your vehicle here. You can check all this out if you want to. Just pause the screen if you'd like to read this information. Finally made it back to Colorado. It's been over a year since I've been on top of that mountain working the obsidians, the Apache Tears, Garnets, and you can find yellow topaz. Let's take a look at the campsite. This is really neat. I should have no problem sleeping here. Got the sound of the river flowing. I've got my own little spot. And that's what I like. Here's the fire pit. That's cool. Nice and clean. Man, look how big these rocks are. Thing's massive. I want to take that home with me. Taking that rock home. Let's get down to the river. Check it out. I'm going to cut through this campsite. Nobody's here yet. Huge ramp. So if you want to bring your kayak or your raft, you got really good access to the Arkansas River. And this is my first time to be in Colorado during the fall. I've been here during the runoff season, which is right after winter. You know, the snow pack starts to melt, allowing water to run off the mountains and we can work gold and then i come back usually in august when the rivers have gone down and we're able to get more towards the bottom of the rivers so yeah this is my first time to be here in the fall and i'm going to tell you this is the best time to come here we have some rain moving in but it seems to be not too bad here i'm going to go ahead and get the tent set up Get some firewood brought in over here. We're gonna have a fire tonight. I'm gonna show you guys how to cook a hamburger. These are the best tents money can buy. This tent will automatically set itself up when I tell it to. Tent set up yourself. Voila, and just like that, the tent is ready. And I got some of the truck unloaded it's firewood always got to have firewood let's walk down here down these steps camp is set up let's take a look inside my house here it is sleeping on a cot tonight that's a lot better than the front seat of my truck let me tell you Got my buddy heater. I am set. I am looking good. mountain okay I got storms blowing in 
I'm going to try to gather as many Apache Tears, the Obsidians, as I can. And to get to my location where I like to gather, you go through this entrance and follow this path all the way up the mountain. You'll take a right and zigzag back up to this area right there, just above that white spot. That's where I almost slid off and fell thousands of feet to my death. Just a warning, don't wear flip-flops, wear some good hiking boots, and you should be okay. Remember, stay on the path, and it's just right up above that white spot, a little purplish looking material. I've got a little crowbar somebody's must have been using to split this stuff right here. I don't know, or maybe this fell out of their pocket. A tool bag. Sweet. Yeah, I'll probably keep that. I was actually looking into buying a little rock bar, and well, all I had to do is come to Colorado and pick one up off the ground. All right, time to continue on through the zigzaggity trail. And now the path makes a horseshoe bend and turns that way and when you get to this point you'll definitely be ready for a safety meeting and probably a gallon of water when you're out here in colorado and you don't think you're very thirsty you better drink some water anyways well right now i've just been walking around burning energy I think I'll go over here to these big rocks and sit down. Hmm, looks like somebody's been up here nibbling on food. When you're able to see the parking lot, that's when you're at the spot. Congratulations, you found the Apache Tears obsidians that are translucent covered along this mountainside. Gather all you want, free to collect. Yep, we just made that horseshoe bend. We came up right here and we wrapped around right there. We came up right here. There's the spot. going to gather large chunks like these and this is a really brittle type material you can see the obsidians right there embedded but they get better I'm gonna walk around and get the good pieces like you may end up getting pieces like this Let's find a really big chunk. There's some big chunks right there. Oh my gosh. Here's the big chunk. Right there, guys. That's, that's the biggest piece I've seen. All right, let's get this video up to 100,000 views. And one of you will own this huge chunk with obsidians attached. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Uh, yeah, I never see this. Uh, let's get it down here. You can see right there, you could bust this up and get all the obsidians or you can leave it just like this. One of you can own that. But for now, I'm going to gather several pieces for my Patreon supporters like this and like that. And like that. Yeah, I don't see any more massive chunks like that one. And I'm telling you, when you're hitting on this thing, the big ones are just flying, flying away. So it's a really good idea 
get down here like this and pick up the bigger ones. And there is a shortcut to this area right down there. So you climb over that big white cliff and then that next cliff and then this cliff and then that cliff and then you'll be at this cliff. I would have this medicine bottle. It's a quite large one. I'm gonna fill this up and divide this to my element and gemstone collectors on my Patreons. Because if it wasn't for those guys and gals, I wouldn't be up here on this mountain right now. I'd be stuck in some factory or underneath some deep fryer fixing things. So yeah, I want to gather some of the obsidians right off the ground and then we'll work them right out of here as well. Here's what I'm doing. I'm just picking up these little black Apache tears. Found some big ones. Whoever worked on this last. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They've missed some big ones. Look at that. And these are translucent. Hold them up to a light or a, the sun. You can see through them. Look at that. That's a four. Yeah light big but they're light their size i wish these are diamonds yeah and that's kind of gross Ooh, nasty habit gross habit makes you talk like this nah. all right let's find the record oh there's a good one right there oh i just dropped it yeah, it's going to take me at least a day or two on this mountain to fill this up. So it's almost time to get back to the camp, get the burgers going, finding several. Oh, look at this one. I'm telling you, oh my God, another big one. Man, my patrons are going to be happy. And these are actually small. Obsidians get really big. Like my buddy, Brian Buzzy, he, he, can, he knows places where these things get... Uh, bigger than your thumb way bigger than a, a quarter you know quarter size and kind of being selective i want those big ones i like to get these bigger obsidians and you know if you walk over here on the mountain they do get bigger i like working this area because they get really nice detailed i pulled out a seven eight carat that thing's gym quality it looks nothing like these it's naturally faceted it's it's an amazing obsidian that come out of this wall and in just a matter of time i'll get another one bigger all right i moved spots did some prospecting and worked my way from over there and walked over here. And I noticed these are looking really nice for the detail. Some of them are really clean looking and that double digit gym quality Apache tier could be in this outcropping. Hard to tell. Look at the size of that one. That's every bit of a four, five carat. Oh, yeah, it came out. Man, look at that. I'm barely hanging on. Let's get some obsidians. It's just a 2,000 foot drop. Safety glasses on.
they're gonna go flying. Boom. I don't want to do that, knock over the whole bottle like I do every single time I'm up here. So I can break some off. And then we got a nice little crevice here. I can just collect them out of this little crack. Pick them up right out of the crack. But you don't want to hit too hard. Say those big ones will go flying 20 feet away. All right. Oh my God. Look at the size of that one. Whoa. Some big ones coming out of here. Not the best detail. There's a good size. Three carat. And somebody mentioned getting a wire brush. That may work pretty good. Because sometimes they just need a little scratch. And they come right out. And sometimes you got to hammer on them. Right, as you can see right here, got a nice crevice crack that I'm collecting them in. I'm just kind of brushing all this off. Picking out the big ones. <clears throat> Get them out. But you can see all the patchy tears piling up. Ooh, here's a big one. And right over here to the right, look at this one. Looks like it got split maybe on that end. But that's almost the gym quality. Like right there, trying to get that naturally faceted. You can just break them up. Break them out of this rock. So I've normally been using this pick end, but right now I've been using the flat end of the hammer and hitting on this flat surface. And this seems to be working really good. And I'm not going to damage any. I may have worked it like this in my other videos, but it's been a while. It's been over a year since I've been up here. I'm going to bust this hole piece up right here and see what kind of obsidians we're going to get. They should fall down in this hole so I shouldn't lose too many. The bottle will be filled. Man, they come out the back side. Mm -hmm. There it goes. And one miss and you scrape your fingers across this, you'll be uh, bleeding. We're going to get some good ones. Oh my gosh, look at these things. So having this little pocket here helped collect most of the material. Man. Look at those. Look at all of them. Oh, gosh, look at that one. Right there, that's kind of like the ones we're after. Real shiny. It's going to look like it's already been cut and polished. Oh, so close, right there. And sometimes when they do look like that, it's because it's chipped.
I'm also going to save a lot of this right here. And I'll be shipping this out as well to my Element Gemstone collectors. And you can have a piece of this. That's a lot different than what we've been collecting out here. And a lot of this has been sitting out in the rain and the sun for hundreds of years. But then not all of this is just full of obsidians. They have little veins you want to follow. And then they let up and then you move over here and you'll start finding them again. So it's not like all of this rock is just full of obsidians. Oh my gosh, they're all over this. They're just popping out of this by the thousands though. We definitely hit a vein right here. I mean, look at all of them. Just had a brush. You can see them like that right there. Very sharp rock. Ooh, there's a good one right there maybe. maybe pop out of there. Oh, yeah. yeah, there it went. Man, so much fun. Come up here. All right, well, I'm gonna work on getting all this out, bigger chunks, and start collecting the little Apache tears. They blend in really well and we tried soaking these in hydrochloric acid iron out and that white film will just not come off several have mentioned to put these in a rock tumbler and that would probably do it so we're gonna definitely save some of these and make a video putting them in a rock tumbler and see what they look like Maybe they'll clean up. Oh, there's a big one. Man, yes. Yes. <clears throat> there's a nice looking shiny one. Oh. Uh, yep, it's attached to it. <laughs> Ooh, that's a big one. Man, all right. And the bottle's getting there, almost a quarter full. All right, guys, it's time to wrap it up here at Ruby Mountain for the day. We're gonna come back up here and collect some more obsidians. Time to get back to the campsite, get the burgers on the grill, try to get a full night's sleep. That's been very hard for me to do here lately. But I think tonight and these other nights staying here in Colorado will definitely help me. Working my way down the mountain. And I noticed that one right there. Covered in obsidians. That's going to go to a Patreon element and gemstone collector. Wow. Put a dent in that one today. Small dent. Got the big one though. Let's get out of here. Gotta hurry up. I'm gonna take this big massive chunk back with me and this video gets up to 100,000 likes. One of you will own this. I will pay for the shipping. So I'm standing here I took the goat path down and I was looking at this uh, tree and I noticed this right here. <clears throat> Look at that. It's like some type of a tooth or bone. That's a piece of bone. Yep. Whoa. Me and bones. 
I'm always finding bones. I love this part. Really cool looking stuff. And you know what? That looks like the same stuff. It's just uh, may have got a little hot, burned up, but yeah, it looks like the Apache tears are also embedded in this rock. Crazy stuff. Yeah, this is a safety meeting spot number 10. Oh wait, no, my truck's number 10, this is number nine. Yeah, I've gotta go through this little stretch and then, yeah, we'll be at the next safety meeting checkpoint. Looks like the rain has cleared up for now. All right, back at the truck. This sucker here. Hmm. 50 pounds. Not too bad. Also, Mount Antero looks a little rainy. That's good. It's going to wash out a big aquamarine for all of us. That's going to go up and collect at the Thank You Lord claim with Brian Buzzy himself. So stay tuned for that. You don't want to miss that. But for now, we are finished at Death Mountain. All right, we got the fire going. Let that burn for a little while, get some coal. Right now, I'm just having a snack. We got cheese, that smoked cheddar, and we got summer sausage with jalapeno and cheese. This is from a meat market in Munster, Texas. Really good stuff. Tonight, I'm going to have a hamburger jalapeno and cheese as well enjoying a nice orange soda probably just put some pickles on it i don't have any lettuce or tomatoes but yeah it's a nice campsite burgers are looking good oh look at that that's some juicy let's put some brats on have that in the morning brats and eggs mm. Well, I just got word from Brian Buzzy that we're going to meet up about 8.30 in the morning, so I need to eat, get some rest. So I'm walking up the steps to my truck, and I notice a spider right up here. And that is a black widow. You just went up in there. Hole. Black widow, Colorado. Almost to the digging spot. Gather some aquamarines. No, it's just corn snow. It'll bounce off. Day two at Ruby Mountain. Waking up after a long day at Mountain Antero. Picking up aquamarines 
at the Thank You Lord claim with Brian Buzzy himself. Here are some of the aquamarines that I picked up. And look at the size of that one. That's my biggest aquamarine. A little chewed up. But like Brian said, he could cut that down to about a two carat flawless gem. Very expensive stone. These go for about 15 to 25 30 dollars a carat depending on really the quality they could go for more than that if it's a museum one-of-a-kind piece it would go for probably a couple hundred bucks a carat but that's just if i was to sell it got some smoky quartz nice little cap barrel this is what the aquamarines are formed in very expensive rare mineral more quartz and a huge chunk of quartz sometimes we find the aquamarines attached into this fund at mount Antero, working on getting coffee made and the fire's just about ready to get the bacon and eggs on there we'll probably head up ruby mountain today and get some more obsidians but for now time to get some coffee and breakfast bacon and eggs over a open campfire that's the best way to go how do you guys like your bacon i like mine well done crispy and that's just about ready we are now at the other side of ruby mountain i was able to get permission and this side is where the yellow topaz can be discovered let's get up there and see what we can find i've read that the yellow topaz is on this side of ruby mountain and this is all privately owned you'll have to get permission from the landowner if you'd like to come up on this side and search for yellow topaz i think we're going to start off right up this part this north face i've read something about the north side is where the yellow topaz can be found but i could be wrong best thing to do is get up there and start prospecting all right we're at the bottom of the mountain Time to get up there and see what we can find. There it is. Man, I almost fell into all those cactuses. Cacti, whatever you call them. Ouch. Whoo, about halfway up. Taking a safety meeting, getting some water. That's what this safety meeting consists of. Lots of water. <laughs> it's a long, hard hike. And I'm not even halfway up it. Right over there is Mount Antero. Beautiful place. That's where I've been camping for the past few nights. I've got the camp all packed up. We'll wrap this adventure up hunting yellow topaz. I just need to get up there, right up there. I have a good feeling I need to be looking up on that higher part of the mountain. All right, we made it to the top, finally. I don't know about you, but I'm wore out. And it's time for a, more water. Fourth side of Ruby Mountain. Just right around that corner. And I've kind of seemed like I've read something. The yellow topaz can be found over here. But I've noticed somebody. I've noticed somebody has been working a lot of the material. Fresh diggings a little further down. I'm going to go check that out. Oh, it just feels so good to be up here. I've always wanted to come on this side and look. It's just private property. So I had to get permission. It took me two years and I finally got permission. And this material is pretty much the same as the other side. It's just this can contain yellow topaz more often. I'm sure you can find them on the other side, but this side is supposed to be the most productive for yellow topaz and larger garnets. So we could even find a garnet really big. Man, look at that. Woo, that's way up there. There's a lizard. Check out this lizard. It's 
must be in about mid frame right by the shadow. Let's check the thing out. There he is. Hey there, buddy. What's up? Hey there. Hey there. I'm your friend. I'm your friend, yeah. What you doing? What you doing? Hey there. Okay, I made it to the north side. This is it. And what I've been told, this is the rhyolite. And what I've been told, the yellow topaz can be inside of this in pockets and attached to it. So I guess all I need to do is work on breaking this apart. And it is not easy. Where's RD1? Man, this is hard. That's almost as hard as Ammonite Creek, if not harder. But as you can see, it's brittle. So get you a good hard rock hammer there at the rock dock, just north of Salida. Cindy carries all of these top grade rock hammers like this one here. And that's exactly where I bought this. She's got all types of equipment for rock hounds gold miners go check them out you'll need it to come up here and do this very hard to work i'm going to do some more surface hunting maybe we can find something on the surface you know that big thousand carat yellow topaz could just be laying there shining away y'all are not going to believe what i just found sitting here on the surface let's check it out I was just sitting here enjoying the view and I saw a little black round thinking it's an obsidian yet I haven't seen any obsidians over here and I was like well what's this little round thing and I picked it up and it's a garnet that's a good size garnet look at that facet let's get this cleaned up and we'll check it out at the end of the video look at that that's a beautiful garnet Ruby Mountain, Colorado. And it's free to come up here and dig. It's just if you want to dig on this side, you have to get permission from the landowner. Wow. So I'm, well, I was just sitting here thinking, you know, I could probably find a yellow topaz just scraping the surface and scratching around. I don't even have to really work this hard rock. You know, Mother Nature did it for us by fracturing all this up you can just kind of scrape get you a little rake and just rake through it <laughs> this is so cool beautiful garnet all right let's keep on searching next will be the yellow topaz just got to get way up there still got all that to climb up and look over but this is the north side and the garnets are really big over on this side, as we found out, versus what we've seen where we gathered the obsidians, the Apache Tears. Yeah, this side is really fun to be looking in. It's just really hard, hard climbing, kind of dangerous. There's my truck way down there. surface hunting and all this loose material and right here we've got a nice garnet wow, look at this one this thing's got some nice facets on it check out that little garnet that's about a quarter carat maybe a little bigger not much Let's see if we can find another one real quick seems like I saw one up here yeah, so you have to keep searching. That facet, these are naturally faceted by God, you know. Um, I'm not sure how else to explain it. So these do have facets. Face, same thing. 
and that's what caught my eye was that facet once that sun peeks out that's when the gemstones show themselves all right another garnet looks to be a little bigger maybe almost a 30 point my guess That's so cool. If I could just get enough, I need about 15 or 20 of these. And each element and gemstone collector could receive a nice fat garnet from Ruby Mountain. Let's keep searching. Anytime you're up on these mountains, surface hunting in this fragment type material that's just so much i mean gosh look at all that it's just endless your best tool is the sun you know that sun over there is going to make the gemstones whether it's a garnet peridot moonstone aquamarine quartz crystal a diamond arkansas diamonds really glow in the sun and that's our best tools is the sun and so the sunlight and our eyes our eyes are the best tools i just love it when the sun hits that naturally faceted gemstone and just gives off a clear gives that clarity off and you just instantly know it's something piece of glass better pick it up let's try to get a good example here's some garnets i just found in this piece of rhyolite looks like three or four garnets right there not giving too much of a shine or clarity off the facets but once that sun comes out you can really see them All of these pieces, this one, this one, and this one, they all have garnets attached. Look at these two. They're really small. If you could break this open, there could be a bigger garnet. I want to collect as many of these, I want to collect as many of these bigger specimens with garnets attached and ship them off in my Element and Gemstone Collectors Colorado Mystery Box for December. You must be a returning patron to get your December mystery box from Colorado. It's not a first time sign on thing. So sign up today. Are those garnets? Those are all garnets. Man, look at those. There's three right there. I don't think I want to carry that big of a specimen back. But I'll try to collect as many as these smaller ones right here. I don't see any on that one. But I want to definitely get the ones that we just looked at. Sweet. Whoo, you're not going to believe the size of this garnet. I mean, it's just a little bit bigger. Maybe the same size, but the clarity is just amazing. Look at this one. It's getting the sun. nice nicely formed garnets i'm sure there's some really high quality garnets on this mountain it's got to find the right pocket all right we made it to the very top i'm out of breath not much oxygen up here that's okay drink plenty of water you'll be okay several safety meetings all right so this spot right here is the north side of ruby mountain and i'm finding really nice garnets no signs of yellow topaz looks like somebody's got a pocket they've been working on i don't know if i'm gonna crawl up in there should i crawl up in that 
and see what's inside it. Nah. But the GoPro can go in. Go check it out for his GoPro. Let me know if y'all see anything. I've been studying the campgrounds here at Ruby Mountain. Now that I have a really good view, I didn't sleep very good because of the other tenors talking till almost midnight. I finally had to ask him to be quiet. But right over here looks like a camp spot, and that's the one I'm going to be staying at. That's perfect. Got a mountain right there. It's going to block out the highway noise because it's pretty bad at night. Working my way up this little path to the very top, look at these garnets I just found. These are probably the best ones so far. Look at the clarity on that. And that's with no sun. It's just shining away. I'm going to add this to the YouTube subscriber giveaway. Let's get this video up to 1,000 likes. One of you will own a lot of goodies. Somebody's trash. This will get it out of here. People can't pick up their stuff. And they have fallen out of their bag, you know. temperature just dropped like 30 degrees a gust of wind I was down there I was down here collecting garnets almost blew me off now it's time for me to get off this mountain here's a quick look at the garnets that I saved there's the biggest one this one I found another day walking around Ruby Mountain it was just laying right there on the surface. Beautiful garnet. I'm going to add this one to the giveaways. Here's one that I found on this adventure. You can see right there the facets that I'm talking about. When the sun hits those, that's when you know you've got something. And this right here is a topaz. I did find one the same day I found that really nice garnet. This was laying on the surface, and this is what the topaz can look like. They're yellow in the rhyolite, but once they hit the sun, they turn to clear. But that's a topaz. Almost looks like a piece of glass. Well, that was a lot of fun. I'm glad I found some garnets and a little topaz that's gonna wrap it up here at ruby mountain we've found an amazing garnet no yellow topaz but i'm gonna keep searching i'm gonna keep coming up here until i find one thank you all so much for the support if it wasn't for all of you i would not be able to get to travel around hunting for gemstones creating these adventures for everybody to watch i'm just going to keep continue doing this and i hope you are all here to support me until the end until next time thanks for watching everybody and take care